Welcome to Miss Pam Reads. Can I just give a shout out to some of my teacher friends who let me borrow their books to read to you guys? I love my teacher friends. <laughs> Today we are reading Howard B. Wigglebottom learns we can all get along. Doesn't say who this book belongs to because she used it in her classroom. All right. Howard B. Wigglebottom, why are you so sad today? Asked Grandma. Allie is having a picnic party and I'm not invited, cried Howard. She said, I am no fun. Hmm. Any idea why Allie would say that? Grandma wanted to know. Maybe because I want my friends to cheer for my team instead of the one they like, answered Howard. We end up fighting. Hmm. Or can it be because I hide the ball when I want us to play a video game instead, Howard wondered. Then we all fight. Nope, he said, pausing. I think it's because... I cut in line at lunch. There's always a fight when I do that. Wait, I know. I get mad if I don't get to be right. Allie says I pick a fight when I'm not right, said Howard. So you pick or cause fights all the time? No wonder you're not invited, Grandma told him. But, Granny, I so want to go to this party. How about if I disguise myself as a new kid on the block and just show up? Or maybe I can be disguised as someone else, suggested Howard. Please help. How can I go to the party? How about, said Grandma with a big smile, if you go disguised as someone who knows how to get along with your friends. Howard, my dear, it sounds like you need to learn important lessons before you can be invited anywhere, Grandma exclaimed. Would I be able to go to the party if I learned the lessons right away? Howard was interested. I'm not sure you have enough time, Howard, Grandma replied. Without practicing, it's too hard to learn a new way of doing things. But let's try. Would you like your big brother telling you which team you can root for? Asked Grandma. No, Granny, I wouldn't, Howard said. I like to pick my own teams, so... I should not tell my friends whom to root for, right? Right, Grandma cheered. Everyone needs to have a say. How would you like your little sister telling you what to play with? Grandma asked next. No way, answered Howard. So I should not make my friends always play what I want to play? Right, cheered Grandma again. Everyone needs to have a say. How would you like someone cutting in line in front of you? You would scream and shove and get very angry, right? Asked Grandma. Oh, yes. I know, Granny. I know. I can't cut in line anymore. I shouldn't do to my friends what I wouldn't like my friends to do to me. Right? Howard asked. Right you are. To get along with your friends, you can't always have your way. Everyone needs to have a say and a turn, explained Grandma. Howard, Grandma continued, we all want to be right. When we are right, we feel special. The trick is to share being right. Let your friends be right, too. 
Yes, I've got it, said Howard. I will remember from now on. Everyone gets the chance to be right, have a say, and have a turn. Here it says, we all get to be right. As soon as he could, Howard talked to Allie. Please forgive me. I learned my lesson about how to get along with friends. Please let me go to the party, even though I haven't had much time to practice. Howard promised everyone would have a chance to be right, have a turn, and have a say. And so they did. And they all had a grand time at the party. So the balloons up here, they all say different things. This one says, we all get to be right. We all get a turn. We all get a say. Oh, looks like Howard learned his lesson. The end. Thank you for joining me for Miss Pam Reads. Remember to subscribe to the channel so you'll get a notice when a new book is posted. Have a great day.